Hey folks, this is me, City Green. I just hooked up my uh, AIM 6000 watt power inverter. Split phase, 220, 120 volt, 24 volt DC inverter charger. And I hooked it up. Got a meter right there. I got some stuff plugged in the outlets up there coming off this box right here. Here's the breakers here. Got a fan, a light, a heater, and another fan. Here's my Flex Max 80 from out back. I'm gonna hook it up soon. Got a breaker right there, 60 amp for the solar panels soon to be hooked up and I got stuff down here I got a voltmeter down here I got a charging breaker right here from the flex max 80 and here's the breaker for the uh, a 200 amp breaker for the Ames 6000 watt inverter charger split phase the bus bar and that's the main battery connect right here the bus bars this is a shunt but i ain't got the me no meter hooked up <laughs> i try to hook the meter up but it, it doesn't work it, you know <laughs> so I, I got all this hooked up for a test to see how much this inverter can take So, this is my battery box down here. It got four six volt golf cart batteries inside, 24 volt. Now, here's the test. First, I turn this on right here. It's connect the, it's the battery disconnect. Turn on the power. And the voltmeter shows me got 25.2 volts from the battery bank and now I'm going to turn on this breaker right here 200 amp breaker and for turn on the final one the power inverter here we go there you go that's a good 60 hertz home Oh yeah. And now I can turn on the breaker right here, the 50 amp breaker. This fan came on. I turn it off. So right now this this inverter is putting out 231 volts. And okay, but the split phase, I got these two plugs right here, 110 each per leg for two, off of 220, 231, 230 volts. Now, here we go. We turn on the first thing, this fan. This light. Here we got 0.86 amp. This other fan. About the same. Now this this fan here, this heater fan. Alright. I'm gonna amp it up and turn some heat down. This uh heat up pull some juice. So here we go. I jumped up to 4.3 amps, 227, 24 volts, 139. Let's see how much it can take. Turn on the higher one, see what this do. Got 6.7 amps to 
only 3.6 volts in the batteries. And then all the way to the heat. Whoa, we got 10 amps coming out. Everything is running. The battery box is going down to 203.2 volts with uh, 10.9 amps. Two from the cell. The 110, 120 on each plug right there going to two different things. That was a good test job. Let me turn them off. So if I turn this off, down to 3.34 amps. I don't know if that's accurate. Once we went down to 20, went up to 24.4 volts. Turn this fan off here. Turn 4.5 volts. 229 volt, 0.84 amps. We turn off this lamp. Point ninety three amps. I guess that's not really accurate, though. But I guess it works. Now the battery bank voltage is twenty four point six volts. Let's put this one off this fan. Battery bank voltage back up to. 24.8 volts this thing is very remarkable this should be powerful enough to run this whole house everything in the even the refrigerator freezer AC deep freezer most of the lights in the house that you see and everything TVs stereo computers phone chargers TVs, washer and dryer. That's going to be the big test when I finally put this thing through some hay, all right? And turn it off. First, we got no amps blowing, so 232 volts. I'm start by turning off the breaker. There it goes, turn it off. And then turn off the inverter. Battery bolts is 24.9 volts. The battery bank. And flick off the breaker. And then the battery switch. Flick it off. I guess that concludes the test of the new Ames. 24 volt, 6,000 watt inverter charger, all right? So I'm gonna hook up my Flexmax 80 from Outback Power, all right? Hook up my solar panels, have all the wires coming in from the top, you know? And, and two of the wires that goes to these, that goes out to the fuse box outside in the backyard all right to pop the whole house but this concludes the test sayonara zai chen